Hi, if you are preparing for GRE general test and you want to give free GRE mock test, then this video is for you. Hello, welcome back. I hope you are doing well and stuff. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can give GRE mock test free of cost by sitting at your home. So let's get started. Dear friends, to go for online mock test of GRE general test, you have to sign in in your ETS account. If you still did not create your ETS account, first you have to create your ETS account, uh, which I already explained in my previous video. The link of the previous video is given in the description below. So I had already signed in my ETS account. Uh, once you sign in your ETS account, you have to go to the My Test Preparation and Services. Once you click on this link now, uh, uh, these are the different test preparation and services. So, so this is a power prep test preview tool. Uh, actually, it is a mock test. So uh, you have to click on the go to test preview tool. Once you click on this link, you will find this web page. Let it open. Yeah. So it shows you actually the what type of device is required operating system, etc. So you have to click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will ask your first time and last time. So actually the interface which you are going to see on your screen, this is actually the interface of a real GR exam. So you have to enter your first name and last name carefully as you have to enter in your real GR exam. So you have to click on launch test. Once you click on launch test now, it shows that test is a test preview tool name is Sultan Sheikh and test taker ID it is showing your ID. So you have to click on continue. Once you click on continue, now how's that? Uh, how you can navigate through the test? So uh, you have to read all those instructions and click on continue. Once you click on continue, now uh, again you have to click on continue. I would suggest it kindly read all instructions which are shown on your screen. So again, continue. Now it is showing you the general test information you must read and click on continue. Uh, once you do not read all the instructions, it will show you that you have to read all those instructions. So you have to scroll down and read all instructions and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, now it is showing you the analytical writing section. So this section consists of two separately timed writing tasks, analyze an issue and analyze argument. In date order, the standard timing for this section is as follows. You have 30 minutes for each task and it is giving you few important tips and tricks you have to follow and click on continue. Uh, now it is showing you a few instructions again and then you have to click on continue. Now this is your first task and uh, this is the first question you have to read and write your response over here. You have 30 minutes and time is showing over here. If you want to hide the time, you can hide the time. If you want to show the time, you can click on show the time. Once you complete this task, you have to click on next and if you uh, it is showing that uh, uh, you have a lot of minutes remaining. Uh, you want to continue or you must revise your uh, answer. So depending upon you, so you have to click on continue or you want to return. So you can click on return. So let's click on continue. Now this is your second task uh, with your instructions. You have to again write your response and click on next. Uh, once you click on next, your first section has been finished. Now you have to move to the second section. If you want to take rest for 60 seconds, you can take. If you don't want, then just click on continue. Now this is the section two of three, which is a verbal reasoning. And here you have a seven questions, 30 minutes. OK, so you have to click on continue. So uh, it is giving you a few instructions you have to read carefully and click on continue and here are the questions so you have to read and select and you must also uh, read the instruction here so you have to select one or more answer choices and then you have to click on next for example if you want to go back to the question the previous question you have to click on back and if you want to mark any question you can click on mark and then click next so, for example, if you want to uh, exit this section, 
uh, mostly we do not exit section but i want to show you the next section how it look like so you have to complete this section and once you complete you have to click next and move to the next section i'm just going to exit the section because i want to show you the next section and then the next section is your uh, quantitative reasoning and here you have 11 questions and the 35 minutes so uh, let's click on continue uh, so question one is this so here again you have instructions select one answer choice and then you have to next for example if you want to mark this question click on mark and next if you want to now review the question that which questions you had uh, means not attempted yet so you have to click on review so it will show you all your status so a uh, few questions you mark for example you you are thinking that uh, you want to revise this question or you will see this question later on so uh, in this case mark option will help you okay so you can review at any time and uh, go to question at any time so you must attempt all practice tests before your final exam or I would say real exam uh, another thing which I want to show you that you can also use the online calculator so this is the online calculator if you want to do some calculation you can use it and if you want to close it you can simply close it so that's it so i would suggest you that you must attempt practice test before your final exam and if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box below thank you so much take care of office